Okay, algebraic substitution and simple inequalities. Grade D, GCSE, although I think maybe the inequality is more of a grade C question. Level 6, maybe it's level 7 for the inequality. Okay, here we have a formula. H is equal to 5, T squared plus 2. Work out the value of H when T is minus 2. It's only worth one mark, so we only get marked for the answer, but it's worth maybe writing it down properly. So we've got five lots of five times t squared, t is minus two. Minus two squared is four. Be careful with that because minus, because minus two times minus two, the minuses in effect cancel each other out to leave you with four. So we get five times four, which is 20, plus two, 22. So one mark. Second one, we actually get two marks. So, um, because it's a trickier question when you're starting with the 47, which is h, is equal to 5t squared plus 2. We need to undo the things on this side to get back to the t. So we need to take away the 2 to get 45 equals 5t squared. We need to divide by 5 to get rid of the 5 to get 9 equals t squared. And then we need to think about what number squared is 9, or we can do the square root. So the square root of 9, which is 3, gives us t. Um, we could do it that way, or we could do some trial improvement. We could just guess some values. So we could start with 1. 1 squared is 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 is 7. We know that um, minus 2 gives us 22, so 2 would give us 22 as well. Um, and we could just work out from there, although it's non calculate it would take you some time, but it's worth trying if you're not sure how to do it another way. With the inequality, what we need to do here is just to think about um, what numbers are between these two values. If I've got a number line, and I've got 0 here, minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, we are going from minus 1 all the way up to 4. We are allowed to be equal to the minus 1, but we're not allowed to be equal to the 4. So we're not including the 4. So when we draw this with a line, we ignore, we put a circle there and it's not colored in. And here we're including the minus 1. So that would be from that value to up to anything that's not 4. Now n is an integer. That means whole numbers. So that's just the minus 1, the 0, the 1, the 2, and the 3. So it is important you know what this word means, integer means whole number. And from there, the rest is fairly straightforward as long as you know what these signs mean. Okay.